What's up yo? My name is Pepe or at Albert J Black in social media. Today is gonna be a short video on Scython, the very first of a new series. We are not forgetting about blockchain, but this is really important and you need to know it. This is the basics of Scython. What is Scython? Well, it is not C Python. C Python is just a version of Python that is written in C. As we have C Python, we also have versions of Python that are written in Java. So remember, Scython is not C Python. They're different. Scython is a compiler. It's a language. That's what it is. When we call Scython the compiler, it compiles its own language and then generates efficient code made through Python by removing some dynamism through CDEF. For example, in Python, when we declare a function or a variable, we only have to say the name and equals something, right? This is Python's advantages for fast development. Because in Python, you don't have to declare the type of the variable. After you assign it and after Python interpreter runs, it is going to determine what type A is. In this case, it's an integer. But with using Scython, we get rid of this time and we improve it by declaring the static typing for a variable in Python, like this. This is the difference with Scython. We take the type statically typing of C and apply it to Python. Therefore, reducing some overhead of the language and make the code faster and more efficient after compilation. This is how we would define the same variable in Python, but in Scython, which has an extension of .pyx compared with python.py. Scython code helps improve your Python code when you have CPU bound operations. But remember the Pareto principle, 80-20 rule. 80% of efficiency is due to 20% of the code. So just optimize the things that need to be optimized. At the end, 20% of your code will give 80% of efficiency. Scython will not improve your Python's performance code when you are dealing with memory operations, input and output operations, and network operations. Because C and Python have similar time dealing with those operations. Python and Scython can interact with each other to create code wrapping libraries around C, C++, or even Python. We're gonna go over an example with C code wrapping. What this means is that we're gonna take a function written in C and apply it to Python. First of all, we do the first step. We have our header file, which defines a function in C programming, the interface to use that function, that we then call through Scython and interact with Python to make the process more efficient. Secondly, the first step after we've done that is to define in the Python code this statement. We use cdef extern from f.h. This is just basically calling the interface from the f.h file. This is our file, the header file from C. After that, we just have to declare another function in Python. This is basically the process. We have cdef as Python defined function externing from the file.h, the header file from C that is regarding this function. Double cdfx integer n. This means that this function will return a double in C programming. We just take it, apply it to Scython, then call our own Python function returning this function. I know, it's kind of confusing, but this book has really helped me out a lot. It's called Scython. Just Google it and it's from O'Reilly. Yes, it's from O'Reilly at the tutorial series. After all of this code has been created, the last step we have to do is just... Yeah, you got it. We have to compile. You know, Python does not require for you to specifically compile your code, but Scython does. And you compile your code, and you finally get a boost on efficiency, on performance. And you didn't even have to learn C programming. If you want to, I would advise you to learn C++ rather than C. But it's up to you. If at any time during this video you guys lost, don't worry about it. It happens to the best of us. Just comment down below or send me a DM, a DM direct message on Instagram at Albert J. Black saying, Hey, your Scython video was confusing. Can you explain it further to me? And I will do it. Till next time, have a good one.